So in the last snare Saturday series video, I showed you a Ludwig chrome over brass snare drum, which was the predecessor to the Ludwig Superphonic, the most recorded snare drum of all time. Well, in this snare Saturday video, it's time to compare the Ludwig chrome over brass to the Ludwig chrome over aluminum to see if there really is a difference. What's going on everybody, Nick Costa here, and in this video I'm going to be comparing a Ludwig chrome over brass snare to a Ludwig chrome over aluminum snare. Now the chrome over aluminum snare, also known as the Superphonic, is pretty sought after because it is the most recorded snare drum due to its versatility. But prior to being a chrome over aluminum drum, Ludwig introduced a chrome over brass known as the Super Ludwig. So when you are searching for a vintage drum, especially if it's a Superphonic, People usually are trying to find out if it's chrome over brass, which is pretty highly sought after, or chrome over aluminum. Now, before we dive into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, as well as the bell notification. That way you're notified of any additional content that I upload to the channel. So like I just mentioned a little bit ago, the chrome over brass snare drum was the predecessor to the Superphonic. It was known as the Super Ludwig. This drum had a pretty short run and was released in the 1960s. Now after this short run of the Super Ludwig, Ludwig introduced the Superphonic, which was a chrome over aluminum drum. And as far as a visual aspect is concerned, they look the same. They were both a beaded shell. They came in two different sizes, a five by 14, in a six and a half by 14 configuration. Both of them had 10 double-sided imperial lugs. Both of them had triple flange hoops and they had the same exact throw off. So this is why a lot of people will say that it is a superphonic, just one is chrome over brass and the other is chrome over aluminum. So with that being said, some folks are like, well, how can you tell the difference between them if you're looking at them? And with the older drums, if it was a brass shell, it should have a B stamped into it somewhere. Or like some folks say, you could take a file and kind of etch the chrome plating away to see if there's brass behind it. Others will recommend putting a magnet to it. But as far as I know, it's safe to say if it has a B stamped into it, it's a brass shell. Now with the modern day superphonic or a chrome over brass, they look identical again. The shells have a bead in the middle. They have 10 double-sided imperial lugs and the triple flange hoops on the top and bottom. Now, the only way to tell is if you look on the inside of the shell, there is a model tag that will tell you if it is chrome over brass or chrome over aluminum. Also, the Superphonics LM400 is the 5x14. LM402 is the 6 and a half by 14. Now for the chrome over brass, it's LB400B for the 5x14 or LB402B for the six and a half by 14. So the model numbers are slightly different as well. So let's dive into the specs of both of the drums that I have for this video. Both of them are the six and a half by 14 model. Let's start with the chrome over brass because that was introduced before the chrome over aluminum. This is the drum that I am giving away at shop.nickcostummusic.com and there'll be more information on that later if you were unaware of that up until this point. Though this is a seamless chrome over brass shell, it has 10 double-sided imperial lugs, 2.3 triple flange hoops on the top and the bottom, Ludwig's P88 AC throw off, and the standard snare wires that come on every Ludwig snare drum. Now the Superphonic in this video is the one that I restored for one of my schools in an earlier Snare Saturday video. This is a six and a half by 14 Superphonic that is from the early 2000s. So once again, a seamless chrome over aluminum shell with a bead in the middle, 10 double-sided Imperial lugs, and triple flange hoops on the top and bottom, which during the early 2000s, I'm pretty sure were also 2.3 millimeters. But if you are somebody who might know this for sure or have more information on it, please leave that in the comment section below because the last thing I wanna do is misinform anybody. Now with this particular drum, when I was restoring it, I did swap out the throw off with one of Ludwig's new P88 throw offs because in a school setting, I wanted something that is way more durable and not have to worry about it failing on my students while they're trying to play the drum. Now, when I restored this drum, I put a Remo CS dot coated on the top and an ambassador snare side on the bottom, as well as Ludwig's generic snare wires. However, that CS dot on the top is going to make a big difference in sound compared to a different head, like say the ambassador or the ambassador X. So for this video to try and make this as even as possible, both drums are outfitted with the same exact heads, which are Remo Ambassador X codeds for the top 
and an ambassador snare side for the bottom. Although the ambassador X is slightly heavier than a standard ambassador coated head, it's my preferred head for the top of a snare drum because of the fact that it is a bit more durable. Also, it doesn't choke out the drum like a two ply head or a head that has a reinforcement center dot in the middle of it. So this will help us try and get as open of a tone as possible with the current drum head selection that I have. So a couple other things I wanna point out, although both of these drums have the same amount of lugs, they're both chrome plated, they both have triple flange hoops, they even both have the same throw off, because they are different eras of Ludwig, there's a possibility that there is a little bit of a difference in the shell configuration. That can cause some minor discrepancies in the tone of each drum. Additionally, the modern day chrome over brass snare is like every other metal snare drum from Ludwig, and they have rubber gaskets behind the lugs. Older drums from Ludwig did not have this, and some folks say that those rubber gaskets do choke out the tone a little bit, not drastically, but enough to make a difference. So those are just a couple things to point out because they are gonna make a difference in the sound of the drums. So before we go any further in this video, I wanted to take a moment to remind all of you of the snare drum giveaway at shop.nickcostamusic.com. Get the opportunity to win a Ludwig Chrome Over Brass 6.5x14 LB402B snare drum. And all you have to do is grab something for yourself at shop.nickcostummusic.com to automatically be entered. Every dollar that you spend gets you an entry into winning this drum. Now this is a modern day Chrome Over Brass snare drum that has an approximate retail value of $799. And although that is a great drum to win, I can't just give you the drum. So you will also receive a set of brand new heads from Remo, a Remo Ambassador X coated for the top, and an Ambassador snare side for the bottom. And since so many drummers like to swap out snare wires as soon as they get a drum, you will also receive a set of Pure Sound Custom 20 strand snare wires to go along with the generic Ludwig snare wires that are currently installed on the drum. And the worst thing is when you get a drum and you don't have a case for it. So you will also receive a Ludwig 6.5 by 14 black snare drum case. So anything on shop.nickcostummusic.com allows you to be eligible for this giveaway. So you could buy a shirt like this Practice Makes Permanent shirt and automatically be entered. You could buy a sticker and automatically be entered. You could buy the drum library I made with my friends over at Cardinal Recording of my giant acrylic kit and five of my snare drums, and you'll get entered into winning this drum. There's also been some additional items added to the store, like the Practice Makes Permanent Spiral Notebook, or if you want to be a bit fancier, a Practice Makes Permanent Hardcover Bound Notebook. That way you have the opportunity to keep track of your practice log, maybe some ideas that you come up with, or maybe even wanting to list some future goals for yourself. So head over to shop.nickcostummusic.com, grab something for yourself, and every dollar that you spend gets you an entry into winning this Ludwig Chrome Over Brass 6.5x14 snare drum. Now, let's get back to the video. So just like every other Snare Saturday video in this series, I'm going to play both drums in a few different tunings. I'm going to start out in a low tuning and work my way up to a higher tuning. Now with each tuning range, I am going to start out with the Chrome Over Brass because it was the first drum that was introduced by Ludwig and then switch over to the Superphonic, the Chrome Over Aluminum model. So then you could hear the differences between the two of them. And since both of these drums are fairly new, the Chrome Over Brass is a new era drum and the Chrome Over Aluminum is from the early 2000s, neither one of them came with an internal damper installed. So you don't have to worry about me playing with it disengaged and then engaging it like I had to do with some of the earlier Snare Saturday videos. So you're gonna hear each drum back to back throughout these different tunings. That way you can hear the difference between them. So enough of me talking, let's dive in.
So one thing I want to point out right away, which has really nothing to do with the sound, but the weight of the drums. The chrome over brass snare drum is a lot heavier than the chrome over aluminum. So if maybe you're looking in a store and you're trying to figure out the difference between them, pick them up. You're gonna feel a big difference because the chrome over brass has a whole lot more weight to it. Also, the other thing that I wanna point out is that when I was tuning both of these drums to the lowest tuning possible, I was able to get the chrome over brass to a lower pitch than the chrome over the aluminum. If I tried to get the chrome over aluminum drum to match the chrome over brass at that really low tuning, you could tell that the head was completely detuned and had a really nasty growl to it because there wasn't enough tension on the head. So it is safe to say that the chrome over brass, you can tune this even lower if you really need that deeper lower tone. Either way, both drums do have a versatile tuning range. They can be tuned really low. They can even be tuned really high and you're still gonna get a great sound out of them. And with that, I would love to get your feedback and what you thought of each drum. So make sure that you leave that in the comment section below, letting me know. And as a friendly reminder, the giveaway is live for this exact chrome over brass snare drum at shop.nickcostamusic.com. Every dollar that you spend will get you one entry into winning this drum. Also, if you have any other additional questions on the chrome over brass or the chrome over aluminum snare drum, you can leave that in the comment section below as well. And I'll try my best to answer them. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see some of the earlier videos from the Snare Saturday series, I've put a link to the playlist in the description below. I'll also have it pop up right here to make it a little bit easier for you. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. That way it makes it a little bit easier for others to find it. And that is it. Thank you so much for checking out this video on comparing the Ludwig Chrome over Brass to the Ludwig Chrome over Aluminum Snare Drum. And until next time, see you later.